I am so worn down though, I really need to find a way to, to get out of here. Hello friends, <laughs> my name's Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator. I didn't expect to record a second episode today, but I guess I will because I tried to leave the cave after catching my super cool, super rare Temtem, which uh, is the only other thing. That's what everybody's in there surfing for. And I got it on the first try. But uh, on the way out, I met a Belsoto grunt who assumes that I am another dojo goon. So I'll show him a goon. We won't go unless we have orders from her ladyship. She's long gone. What? Impossible. And how How do you know her ladyship's name? Because I beat her at Windward Fort? What an outrage. I shall avenge her then. He's a sergeant. Ooh. Are you a sergeant? Wow, what a special boy. I hope I, I, hope I don't get my shit handed to me right now. <laughs> I was not ready for this. They're level 23s, so okay. We can do this. We will do this. Let's get that Ukama strangled. Cold breeze. Uh-oh. Here comes the frozeniness. And Squidward is getting banged out. Holy heck. We might not be ready. And I can't die cuz I got a bunch of I got a bunch of money and stuff. I don't want to die yet. All right, Ukama's not going to be able to do anything. Whiplump might freeze Squidward, but if that's the case then kind of whatever. Sorry, Squiddy. I'm sorry this happened to you, buddy. Oh no. Toxic spores on the other. Alrighty. Um dang, I don't have any of my big boys really. I guess Audino. He's pretty tanky. Got a decent attack. And hopefully everybody can just hang in for now. Uh heavy blow is the best we're gonna be able to do. Let's double it up on the whip lump. Sharp rain. Oh my god, it hurts. That's terrible. Cold breeze. Not as bad, but... Holy heckers. At least they're kind of ignoring Swadloon. That's uh, a blessing in disguise. Whiplump is no longer poisoned. Adino, just do the best you can, buddy. I know you're probably going to go down this turn. Oof. Big friggin' oof. Luckily, he overexerted himself, so... That's how we're gonna win this one. Wowzers. Well, that dude's almost done. I'm gonna get a free hit in on him, so... Who do I have that's also level 20? Narswole. Yeah, yeah. Go soak up some of that experience. <laughs> Alrighty. I guess... I guess it wasn't so bad. But I'm sure there's more of these dudes in the cave. And I think I'm out of... Uh, I don't have my vial, right? Zounds! <laughs> I have betrayed Lady Lottie's trust. Zounds, indeed. Whoa. He disappeared. Where'd you go? The vial's empty. Oh, fart. Well, I guess we're just gonna do the best we can, try and get out of here. There's more Belsodo grunts. All right. I do have uh, some revives. Not many, mind you, but it should do. Okay. Um, do we have basic bombs? 25 HP. That'll be enough. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Spiffy. Spiffy and a Jiffy. Let's swap Swadloon for Audino or Narswole. Yeah, I guess Narswole. They can get that uh, synergy going. Because Squidward is water. I think he's water poison when he evolves, though. So that'll be good for, like, the Arishiol. Trapped Belsodo Grunt. Well, keep digging. That's what you said last time when our ladyship ordered us to find that dam. I'm the one giving orders here. And I say... Watch out! Here they come again! Hey, hey guys, it's it's me! Hello! How are you? Wonderful. 
<laughs> oh, fart! They got that thing! That thing that I hate so much. Oh boy. We are in some trouble here. Uh, I guess Strangle might be okay. But I'm just gonna double up on the Tataru and hope everything goes great. They hit like tanks! This is so terrible. Oh man. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get through this one. Holy heckers. Alrighty, um... Gosh, I wish my, my boy was here. I need crystal. Or Gulai. Yeah, yeah. Gulai's the crystal one. Windburst. Oh, Squidward's down again. Fart! No strangle, no nothing. Well, let's get uh, Snek out here. Because I know Snek is going to obliterate that bird thing. And we still get the Ice Cubes boost. So that's pretty sweet. Tesla Prison. You asked for this. Oh, that heavy blow. It's so heavy. Gosh. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out this way. Might have to take a faint. Four times super effective. Yeah, boy. Lean back. Oh, not quite a KO from Ice Cubes. Shame. A shame, that. Well, let's, um... Man, I'm almost out of stamina here. Oh, crap. I guess, I guess more Ice Cubes. Why not? And then... Chain Lightning should go counterclockwise. So if I hit this one... And I'll be able to bounce lightning to myself, right? Is that how that goes? Well, doesn't matter. Narswhole's off the field. And I did indeed heal myself with electric synthesize. So that's pretty sweet. Make myself last a little bit longer against this uh, flurry of blows that I'm up against. Holy cow. Well, there's another barn she out. That's good. I'm going to do another Chain Lightning. I don't even care. I don't even care, bro. Is it going to hurt me? Yeah, it is. But I'm also going to heal from it. So, do it. Do it. He's a madman. He's a madman. Okay, good. They didn't hit Snek. Boom. I love that four times super effective. It's so tasty. Oh, it's tasty. Mm. And I seem to have gotten back all the health that I lost. But uh, Snek is not going to be able to attack this turn. So heavy blow and Snek can rest. KO. Alright. Good job, everyone. Wondrous well. Ah, uh, another defeat for Clan Bell Soto. Shut up and run, you fool. Yeah, get out of here. Disappear in a puff of smoke. Yeah, let me tell you about puff of smoke, son. Uh, Squidward's back on his feet. Man, I am... I am in some trouble here. <laughs> I could really use some heals. But oh well. As long as I don't faint, as long as we get through it, everything's gonna be fine. I could probably uh, do with healing Snack up just a little bit too. I do have like the Balm Pluses. And Dem's pretty good. Squidward taking more damage. Not good. Let's go. Can't be screwing around with the level 14 Tataru. I ain't got time for that. Give me goodies. Five cents. Okay. I suppose that'll that'll do something. They really do give you a lot of cents. I think if I sold all of the cents that I have, I would have enough to buy like some cool goggles or something like that. I might just try that at the next clothing shop that we get to. I don't even use them that often. It's not so much of a pain to run away. Hey, you. Huh? Shh. Come here. Be quiet. Who are you? Shh. I'm with the dojo. They're bad guys ahead. We think they're part of the gang that got in here a few days ago and caused the landslide. They were left behind. You mean the Belsodos? The... the what? Do they call themselves that? And how do you know? I fought them at Windward Fort. Wait. So you must be Dayton does. Sophia told me about you. In that case, I suppose I have no advice to give you. You know how to take care of yourself. 
Careful out there, friend. Quite so, quite so. So am I supposed to enter from this way? Or this is the... This is all a trap, dude. This is all a trap, and I don't even know what's going on. Let's just, let's just take the money and run. Get my loot up. Loot, loot! What you got? Loot, loot! Silicon fragment. <clears throat> Silicon fragment. Wonderful. Oh, you want to get me with one more battle before I before I get out of here? Oh, there's a skunch. Oh, buddy. Oh, happy day. Can we strangle that thing? I have I have like no Temtem cards left though. I need to buy some Tem cards ASAP. Skunch uses fierce claw. Mmm, that hurts. Tattery uses heavy blow. That also hurts. Strangle this thing real quick. Um, and then Chain Lightning might be able to uh, make me weather another heavy blow. I think. Maybe not. Oh good, he goes for Rage. Whew, I meant to catch the Skunch, but uh, then it became a fight for survival. <laughs> How quickly things change, you know. Let's go for... Yeah, we can strangle. That's what we're gonna do. Keep him strangled. Yep, yep. Isn't that a nasty trick? If you're facing one Temtem, just lock him down. Lock him down. Sweet, high pressure water. Um, 50 damage. I don't know. I guess, I guess I'll replace Water Blade. Then Squidward has synergy with Crystal and Fire Temtems. Oh, -ho. wonderful that. Kind of sad I missed out on the skunch, but you know, it's just how it be sometimes. Let's put Quackers in the front. There you go, Quackers. Hey, you. Hey, you. Oh, sorry, buddy. You can't go any further. It's dangerous. You're stopping me. Yeah, but I mean no offense. It's just for your own safety, buddy. Okay, buddy. There's some unpleasant people down there. You don't want to meet them. I can handle anyone. You talk big, but they're a rough bunch. You're not coming through until you show me you can defend yourself. God, it's still going? <laughs> I'm in so much trouble here. Oh, Lord. Alright, got a couple fishy boys. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Strangle one, get some venomous claws on the other. Uh, let's go for the little guy first. And just keep the big guy mobilized. That's a solid strategy. Jaw strike. Didn't do too much. That's good. Water cannon also is not going to do too much. But this uh, chip damage is sort of whittling away at me. So fiddle up, finish off Umishi with the martial strike. No draw strike today. But There you go. This what you wanted, huh? Show me you can defend yourself type of shit, right? Alright, here we go then. Venomous Claws and another Strangle. That'll do. He uses Cheer Up. What is that? I still don't know what that does. I have a uh, Eat Log who knows Cheer Up, but I still, I still don't understand what it's supposed to do. Venomous Claws! It's not quite a KO yet. That's so sad. Ugh. Oh, this really is a, a game of stamina, you know? Gotta watch your stamina the whole time. Oh, I thought Marshall Strike was gonna be faster than the jaw thing. But I guess not. Piranayant. Phew, okay. I guess you might be able to handle him after all. Told you, bruh. What I say. Oh, now she's all the way over there. She's like, whatever. Don't talk to me. Restore 70 HP. Well, we'll give one to Snack. Snack is gonna be the, uh, the big boy. The operator. Oh, I wish I had my vial. There's probably another way out of here, isn't there? Am I just stuck forever? Hey, you. 
Hey, how'd you get up here? Uh, climbing mostly. Ah, that explains it, I suppose. Actually, I'm a Temtem. <laughs> yeah, sure. I know which Temtem you remind me of. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say Pig a Pig. Pig a Pig? Quite. Damn! What a burn. How about Paharak? Exactly. Okay, good. I can be a Pah Paharak too. I'm waiting for the rest of my team to come back up. They're somewhere down there in the lower levels. I'm too exhausted to go find them, so I'm here shooting the breeze. Well, that's not very nice of you, is it? As in being full of yourself? FOMU is full of itself? It seems like a, a nice... A nice Temtem. It doesn't seem too stuck up. Allergy warnings. Crystal dust. Gluten. Calibus feces. <laughs> Heals a poison Temtem. Good, good. Although I haven't uh, been poisoned in quite a while. It seemed more like an early game type of thing. And now it's gone by the wayside. Alright. Level 14s and 15s. I think we are finding our way out of here. I think I went in here backwards. Maybe. Alright. Am I am I getting closer? Shit. <laughs> hmm? Oh, shh. Don't make a noise. Why? Cave Temtem are naturally shy. I'm trying not to disturb them. So should you. Are they dangerous? They're just Temtem. You're an intruder in their habitat, so you're the one who should be careful. Here, let me teach you something about Temtem. Oh. Yes, everybody wants to teach me something. But it is you, sir, who shall soon learn a lesson. Mental. I don't think I can hit mental with uh, Venomous Claws very well. Perhaps we should switch out of Squidward. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Let's go into Snick. Snick! He's my boy, dude. He's basically uh, replaced my starter in no time at all. Water Temtem seems super common in this like early build of the game. Eventually, they're going to come up with some other builds for the game. And I will be super excited for that. Um, I'm going to chain lightning and hope that Saku doesn't faint before it goes off. Okay, good. Now live. Come on. Snack. Yeah, good. Get my heal. Get my healing on! And that's a double KO! Quackers could definitely use a bomb. Next up, he's got a Piggy Pick, which isn't going to be a problem. So I will take this uh, opportunity to drop a bomb on Quackers. And Tesla Prison. And hopefully that'll KO. Boosh! I mean, he's level 21. And he's also pretty tanky. That's what Piggy Pig do. Tanks the hits. And then once you KO Piggy Pig, you uh, lose health. Which is quite cruel. So, I don't know. Whoever KOs it, KOs it. Just, just make it happen. I can't look. Oh. Oh, good. There's no fainting curse ability. Well played. I should stick to cataloging Temtem. Yeah, and give me money, because you got a lot of money. Why do they disappear like that? Where are you going? Hmm? You again? Please don't make so much noise. You're disturbing the natural habitat of Cave Temtem. Okay. Oh, hi. I wasn't expecting anyone here. Are you exploring these caves too, or just chasing Temtem? Uh, mostly a tamer. Figures. When I was your age, I was all about Temtem. But you're going to have a hard time finding any Temtem this way. The next tunnel is completely crystallized. Crystals? Some geological processes have caused rock surfaces to become crystallized under heavy pressure and temperature. Here in Agua Marina Caves, it's nowhere as extensive as the lava fields near Anak Volcano and Amnesia, but it's still difficult to navigate. The crystal surface is just too slippery to walk on. So how do you cross it? Oh, crossing it's easy enough. With normal shoes, you'll just slide until you hit something. Hopefully not head first. You need crystal skates to control your glide over crystal, though. And I have none. Alas. Alas. Yep, we're, we're not gonna... We're not gonna be able to get over there quite yet. Interesting. Crystal skates. 
The Iron Boots of Temtem Land. Found a revive. Thank God for that. Hey, you! Oh, is that another, uh, tamer? Hey, fellow tamer! Jeez. I don't know where to get crystal skates. This is some sort of puzzle, I assume. Hey, almost. Not quite. <laughs> and then the question is like, are you ever going to be able to find your way out? Oh my god. Well, I made it over here at least. Oh hey! I knew it! Take the time and trouble to find untapped vein of finest crystal and the competitors will flood in. Competitors, you say? Yeah, competitors. As in people who show up when I discover a valuable new vein of crystal. I thought you were all sticking to the fragments around the Anak Volcano. Volcano. Uh, what's so valuable about crystal? Are you joking? What do you think Tem cards are made of? Like, where do you come from? It's impossible you don't know that. You're just playing dumb. You're after the crystal vein. My crystal vein! Like all the others. Precious. <laughs> yeah, you got me there, dude. I knew it! Okay, let's fight it out old style. Whoever wins gets the shiny stuff. Tempt him up! You're gonna regret this, dude. I'm gonna tell you right now you're gonna regret this. Oh boy. He's got a, a crystal -y boy. It's level 23. Hmm. Well. I'll do the best I can with it. How about that? We could strangle it too. That would be nice. Windburst. Hang in there, buddy. Squidward! Squidward! Okay, good. He did live. He did live! They do exist. Oh, this is gonna be super effective. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Let's switch into Snake. Do I just always switch into Snake? Let's go into Audino. Damn it. Is Crystal or is Strangle still gonna affect that thing if I switch? That is a major question. Feather Gatling hits pretty okay. Martial Strike hits even more okayer. And Strangle goes away if I switch. So I guess that's a good thing to note. Uh, Quackers, I'm gonna need you to switch out as well. Swadloon's coming in. Heavy blow on Crystal. Do it. This is so similar to my team. It's eerie. Except I switched my team around a whole lot. I've got basically like two and a half full teams that I'm trying to keep leveled. Which is uh, pretty impossible. <laughs> Honestly, it's, it's, it's not going well. Alright, heavy blow. Bet. Oh, just got him. Just barely got him. And the wind blade did not do anything. All right. Well, I really think that we could we could do a lot of stuff here if I switched out. So that's what I'm going to do. Drop toxic spores on that thing. Switch into Snake. He's just too good. I should have brought more electric dudes. Because with the plethora of flying and water temtem that I'm seeing, it's you basically can't do without it. It's too good. It's too freaking good. Hmm. So we'll poison each other. That's fine. I will use an antidote because uh, I don't think I'll find another opportunity to use it. And drop a chain lightning because... Because, because, I could turn it into some health. That'll be pretty good. Ain't it? Go ahead. Do it now. Well, it didn't do much on the other dude like I was hoping. Well, shit, that's like my entire team that just got experience from that. Okay, so maybe... I don't think Windblade's gonna do it. Maybe I should be switching the hell out of here. Oh, Erishiel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tesla Prison. And if that thing's not dead after all of that beating, then then I quit. I am so worn down, though. I really need to find a way to, to get out of here. Oh, I do have, like, an escape rope or something, don't I? 
Blast, I suppose it's your vein of crystal now. Ha ha ha! Of course it is! I'm the best and you're not. Guess I should get back to Omnesia then. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you should. Maybe you should just get out of here. Maybe you should just leave my crystal vein alone. Hmm. Where might we be now? Got two smoke bombs. That's the, the thing that gets us out of here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Get you back to the Temporium. Alright. This is what I should have done fucking 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. I'm gonna lose my money. We're gonna die. Oh yeah. I have an item that can just fix the entire fucking situation. Well, great! High five! Good job, everyone! I need to buy some uh, cards, though. That's what I need. 15? Yeah, 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 yeah. How many should I do, though? People are just coming in and out of this room like fucking crazy. Like, what's that? Are you recording? Whatever. Whatever, bitch. <laughs> Alright. Tell me how you really feel. How much is, uh... Ooh, sea salt. 600. Silicone fragment. Hmm. We should save that till we get to Sipanku, I think. Scents are only 30 each. It's not good. It's nowhere near as much as I had hoped. Alright. So where's the friggin' map? Um... I basically want to just hit the shore right over there. And I do have that, that thing. That goat creature. Brakal Damar. Hey! I'm in here now. It's such a short trip. I guess if you don't have a surfboard, it's a very long trip. <clears throat> but I do! I'm wondering if I should switch this thing. Like, it might be a little bit more boring because it doesn't have an evolution or something like that. But, uh, it gives me something to level, at the very least. I can stick it in front forever! Kick, high pressure water, tsunami. What's tsunami? Hmm, when used in conjunction with a wind ally, damage boost and cold for three turns. So I could freeze a dude. As long as I have a wind ally to use it with. I don't have a whole lot of wind allies, honestly. I guess we could do some switching around. Hmm. Ebon, you're a wind boy, aren't ya? You come here. Snack, um... I guess I'll switch. Go Pinky. Quackers is level 22. You can get the switch too. With... A boy and Narsoul's coming. I didn't level up these two little guys because I don't know. I don't know how good they are. Hopefully this team is going to be able to, to weather it. It seems like a dangerous prospect to walk around with a bunch of level 20 Temtem, but um, uh, fingers crossed, I guess. I don't know, bro. What is this freaking crystal thing I keep saying? God, that is insane looking. I need one! That's okay. I got this, this weird water deer thing following me. What do I need besides that? Probably that sick ass lion. You see that lion running around? You see that crystal boy with all the crystals on his head? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I want right there. Dude, this Kelpie is so big. I guess because, uh, yeah, it's like final evolution status. People really seem to want one, so <laughs> I'm glad that I caught one. And I'm still stoked that I did it on, like, the first turn. They're like, oh yeah, I've been searching, searching here for, like, 30 minutes. That's kind of how it went with Barnshee, too. I guess, uh, I just have a pretty good luck stat. So, thank goodness. Thank goodness for that. Will it carry us through the entire game, though? I'm not sure. Probably not. What I really need to do is uh, put in some grind time. Oh, look at that serpent. That's a nice Temtem alcoholics. <laughs> what a name. What a name. What a game. 
All right, so I think we're just around the river bend here, and then I can hop on that airship and be on my my merry way back in Arisola. So we'll hop on the airship in the next episode, friends. Hooray! I might do some leveling between now and then. Hopefully, it will just be leveling, and I won't get caught and in, in a battle and be like, "Oh, now we got to do a thing," or I might just do it. I don't know. Depends how much time I have. But we're in quarantine for Corona, so. There's a fair amount of time. Anyways, friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the video, of course. Um, also, check out the links in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. And, of course, a big, big shout out to Nico the Legend for supporting us on Patreon currently. I will see you guys in the next one. We're on to bigger and better things. More adventurous adventures. <laughs> And I hope that you join me for it. As always, thank you for watching. And until the next time, friends. Bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.